I'm just going to show you how to solve problem number five, which says, using a pad painter, a person could paint 32 feet squared in 47 seconds. How many square meters per hour is this, assuming the pad does not need to be re-inked? So I'm going to start with what I'm given. That's 32 feet squared in 47 seconds. Since I'm looking for area divided by time, I'm going to start with area divided by time. So what I'm going to start with is 32 feet squared per 47 seconds. So I'm going to start with what I'm given, and I'm looking for area over time, so that's what I'm going to start with here, area over time. Now I need to convert this to meters per hour. That means i got to go to inches and centimeters in order to cross over unit systems on the area. So I'm going to go from feet down to inches to centimeters and then to meters, and then I'll go from seconds to hours. So to go to the feet to the inches to begin with, I'll start with dun, 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 a foot and the fact that there are 12 inches in a foot. The problem here is my units don't match, and that's the whole idea is you've got to match the unit somehow. So I've got feet squared in the numerator, and I've got feet in the denominator. To match them, I need to square the denominator. But in math, if I square the denominator, I also have to square the numerator. So that's the units and the number. So there we go, it's all squared. And that's great. That means feet squared cancel out in the numerator with feet squared in the denominator. So now I've got inches, now I've got to go to centimeters. So I know one inch is equal to, in the numerator, I'll put 2.54 centimeters. Again, my units don't match. I've got inches squared and I've got inches. So I've got to square the inches to make them match. And in math, if I square the denominator, I've got to square everything in the numerator. So I'll square the numerator. So I'm all set. Now my units match. Inches at the top, inches at the bottom. So I'll keep on going over to get to meters squared. That's what I'm looking for. So at this point, I know that 100 centimeters, that's in the denominator, is equal to 1 meter, and that's the numerator. But again, my units don't match, so what I have to do is make them match by squaring the fraction on the right. So I got centimeters squared in the numerator, I got to have centimeters in the denominator, also the 100 gets squared, and meters get squared. Great. So if I look at this, the centimeters all divide out, that leaves me with just meters squared, and that's what I want. Now that I've got the right units in the numerator, I need the right units in the denominator. So I need to convert 47 seconds to hours. There are a couple ways to do it. One of the ways I'm going to do it is I'm just going to say that there are 3,600 seconds in an hour. So that way over here, seconds and seconds. I didn't need to square anything because the seconds aren't squared. So if the seconds aren't squared and my units aren't squared, they match. So there's no reason to square anything. Now I just need to do the math. So on my calculator, what I'm going to type in is the numerator in parentheses. So that's going to be 32. I'll hit times 12, and I'll hit the squared button. I'll hit times 2.54 and the squared button times 3,600. It's not squared because it's not squared in the fraction. And that's the numerator. And the denominator, oops, I've got to divide that by parentheses again, 47 times, and the 100 is squared. So 100 squared and in my parentheses. Numerator in parentheses divided by denominator in parentheses. And then when I do all that, I get my final answer, which is 228 meters squared over hour. That's rounded to the ones, ones place, by the way. So that's the answer.